It's Chow Wong's Cool Knife Corner. We have another unboxing video. I don't remember what these are, to be honest, even though I just saw what they were earlier today. But hey, we got this, and we got a regular old USPS priority box. Gotta start with the envelope. Hello? Okay, let's see. You, you'd think I would get better at opening packages with how many packages I open, like, weekly. But no, I'm just fucking abysmal at this process. <laughs> you'd think I would also be able to open packages with how many knives I have. I'm bumping the microphone. Jesus Christ. I want to use my cool new knife in order to open the package. And then I just end up using my hands. Alright, this is... What are you? What the fuck is that? There's a... It's like this pouch and something on the pouch. That's, that's what I don't know. And a sticker. Let's see. Um... Oh, okay. Here we go. Oops. Sticker is what does the sticker say? WeKnife.com and it has some bird of prey with a knife in its talons. Um, we also have I have I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what that what is this? What the fuck is this? Is this like a chess piece? Uh, and now the actual Oh! I know what this is. This is the, wow, it it literally is truly brand new and bang. Oh, and it has like a, this is a nice, it has, uh, wow, this is like pitch black. A zipper patch, or it's like a Velcro patch in here, and a knife patch in here, and another knife patch in here. So you could fit like one knife and accessories. Holy shit, this is tiny. Okay, this is the Boker Yoda. It is, all right, this is a manual latch. <laughs> this thing is so small. Look at this! This is my smallest butterfly! Uh, and it has a little latch here. Finally, a, a latch knife. You can barely latch it, keep it latched open. Uh, and it also has a pocket clip, which I will definitely remove because I just think that pocket clips are so in the way. And, ooh, this is brand new, so it's probably sharp. It's a little sharp. It's pointy. And... Let's see. How does it? Oh man, it's got a big horn, relatively. And uh, let's see. Any chaps? Like this thing is like roughly the size of my quad fidget fly, or my fidget fly quad, I should say. I still don't know what what is this. I'll have to ask my seller. Um, next, we will use the hyvel to open and that is hello oh my god please let's see maybe I should use this let me let me just use a smaller precision knife for my packages let's see oh you know though this is actually probably like really great for opening packages because it's just it's small and can get in there I would say as I slip through everything it's Wow, this is actually really sharp to the point where I'm like not cutting the tape. I'm cutting the cardboard above the tape. I, wow, I really chumped this one up. Eh? Come on. Uh, no matter how many times I open these, I always get the side tape. Fuck that. We have, ooh, this is taped in the box. It's purple? What the hell did I get that's purple? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, so this is, this is a clone, admittedly. This is a clone of the Six Gale. Whoever, uh, I bought this from Broken Blades, and whoever he bought it from, uh, 
I believe put the Sphinx, yeah, they put the Sphinx logo in here. Uh, it's very faint. Uh, it's easier to see in real life, but that's the Sphinx logo. Um, I normally don't support clones, but I heard that the Gale is flips better than the real Gale, the Gale clone. Um, this is really, really clean anodization, a beautiful blue blurple fade. This is a trainer. Very, very smooth, actually. Stone wash, blackened blade, and it's smooth in your hand. This is actually really nice. Ooh. Hmm. I can get used to this. This is actually really comfortable in the hand. Uh, a decent amount of grip. There's there's some milling up top here for like basic grip up here. Uh, the middle section is speed channel. This is this is like it's a channel design, but it's got big speed channels through. Um, and there's face milling, so it's pretty like oh, let's do a sound test. Honestly, not really ringy, which is interesting because despite the plea, I hear I hear that's the one thing that the clone doesn't have over the the authentic Gale is that it, uh, it, the Gale has like a really good sound to it. And the clone doesn't, but it flips better and apparently has better tolerances or something. I don't remember. I hear that Sphix, I know that per people said something about Sphix at some point. Ooh, this is, this is interesting. I think part of it is I just need to oil this. Actually, let me put some oil in this right now. Where's my, do I do carbon honey? Maybe I'll do medium, I'll do medium oil. Uh, da, 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 da. Whoa, that's way too much. I'm so used to using carbon honey thick, and one thing that really bothers me about carbon honey thick is, and, and just carbon honey in general, great lubes, uh, but no needle tip, which is an, a little annoying. So I got so used to over squeezing to just get, and you also like end up spilling a bunch of it out of the pivot, which can be annoying. So. This, it, it's very smooth, and I like how it smooths in my hands because I have very sensitive skin. Um, it is a little pinchy because uh, there's a big um, groove in here, and so when you're doing chaplains, it can, it can pinch your finger underneath this groove. Um, that's an observation. It's like the bite handle and the safe handle are equally, there's no bite indicator in this. Yeah, how does it chap? Oh, hello, sorry. Pretty nice. How's the balance? It's like handle bias. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the Booker Yoda after this. This is nice. So I bought this sort of on a whim because it was a good price, and I've always wanted to try. Like I want to try a little bit of everything. Um. But unfortunately for me, because this is a clone, it doesn't really have resale value. And I'm, you know, I'm saying this right here and right now, so I'm obviously not going to lie if I ever try and sell this. I, uh, and yeah, definitely don't lie if you're selling items. That's just scumbag tech. Uh, but obviously the person who sold me this was up front and the person who sold him was up front. That is a clone. But this is good for a titanium trainer. I think this is like under 200, um, which is a really good price for a titanium trainer. I actually regret not, uh, Box had a, his first, uh, his first production knife was called the Relon and it was like 200. And I was like, well, oh, I don't know. I just, I literally just paid for this. And then he ended up trading it for a Kraken. I was like, really a Kraken? So let's see. Uh, I have to break this oil in a little bit more over time. Um, I have the tolerances. Actually really good. Uh, and it looks like it was only like dropped like once after it's anodization. It has like, uh, how is it handle? It's on this handle. It's a little gray over here. Shit's hard to see with how this lighting is. Eh. Let's try the Boker Yoda. I have to not ring shame myself. Oh my God. Oh. It's like, 
<laughs> it's actually really fun. This thing's hilarious. And, uh, yeah, whatever people say about latches, uh, I mean, this is so small, so who cares? I'm not, I'm not flipping this as a competitive flipper. It's actually got really deep jimping. Joe, check this out. Check out that the jimping on the spacers. I'm going to keep this latch on. I'm going to remove this pocket clip because pocket clips are a sin, in my opinion. Uh, but thank you for joining me in this unboxing video. Here you can see the stark size difference. It's such a cute. Actually, where's my fidget fly? Real quick. Oh my god, it is actually the same size as the fidget fly. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So yeah, with that, thanks for tuning in and uh, happy flipping everyone. Love you all. Have a great day.